Okay, this is CAD 214 MEP on Wednesday, November 4th. Today we'll be continuing our lesson on plumbing. Uh, we'll be picking up where we left off last time, um, where we were laying out our bathrooms in our uh, commercial building. Um, as you can see on the screen right now, we have a quick layout of what it should look like. We have um, three sinks and four toilets and two urinals that are actually going to be connected. I was having some issues with the urinals last time and um, the there's three different versions and there's one um, only one that seems to be working with the MEP connections and we're going to go over that uh, now. So we'll go ahead and uh, pick up where we left off. That's with connections of urinals and then we're going to move on to um, laying out the sewer system. Uh, you can see an example here. We're going to go ahead and do another one, uh, but all your sewer systems will be connected. Uh, so what you'll want to continue after this uh, class uh, for this mod, which will be live after class, um, is to finish laying out your bathroom fixtures if you haven't done so already. Make sure your water is connected, the hot and cold. We'll review that as well. Make sure the urinals are connected and have your um, sewage system laid out as well. We are going to be moving on to doing the same on our second floor. There are some other um, parameters that need to be met as far as the second floor is con concerned, how these pipes meet from the second floor to the first floor. So what I'd like you to begin doing um, for this class is start laying out your, your um, fixtures your urinals and your toilets and your uh, sinks for your second floor plumbing as well, if you haven't done so already. And then on Wednesday night, we're going to do the connections as far as the water and the sewage on how to connect those two floors together to the uh, currently existing first floor sewage and water that you do have. So that's what our plans are for today. So that being said, we'll go ahead and kind of jump into this one right here. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of laid out some stuff already. When I was talking about urinals, um, the ones that we were playing with last time, I believe are one of these two options here, but the ones that are actually working with the MEP connections are the urinals with wing wall hung standard. So I'd recommend everybody using that one if you haven't done so already. The other two that I was having issues with last time, the urinal stall standard, and then the urinal wall uh, three quarter inch flush valve. Both of those were having some issues and I was having issues again getting those connected, uh, whereas the other ones connected pretty easily. So we'll just go ahead and delete those and concentrate on the ones that we currently have in. As you can see, the cold water is already kind of established on those. And on one of these, we already have our sewer system as well. So let's go ahead and add another urinal and connect that to the cold water and go ahead and connect them all to the sewer system. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So we want to go ahead and start in our plumbing floor plan view, plumbing one. It'll bring us to this view right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop in another urinal right here on this side. So in order to do that, I want to go to my plumbing fixtures. I already have that loaded, so I can go ahead and go with the urinal with wing. And I'll drop that into place. When you place these, you want to make sure that you're placing them, you know, per guidelines. We haven't actually done any guidelines for these just yet, uh, but don't put them right next to each other. Um, I'm sure the gentlemen in class are familiar with that. Uh, so just think about, um, think about that as you're placing these, but usually you're going to have some kind of guidelines as far as the, these are concerned, either ADA guidelines or just um, regular code that you would need to follow to get these placed. All right, so once this urinal is in place, remember we're going to click on that, make that active, and it shows up with our connection right here. So we're going to click on this connection, and that shows us our pipe. And how it's supposed to work, as it didn't work last time, is we just bring this pipe section over the current water um, pipe that we have going, and it should automatically connect. And of course, it's going to give me a problem. So let's go to 3D and find out what's going on with that. 
So when I look at these, let me go back to floor here and click and make it active again. There we go. So it's just a matter of getting it lined up in order for that to automatically attach. Now I'll go back to 3D and we see we have our connection in place here. So it's running very close to this hot water, but you can see it does run right past it as well. All right, so the water connections for the urinal should be easy. They should just kind of come together like that. That's how they're supposed to work. The similar system with the sewage system as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to that plumbing level one. We'll click on this one. And we'll click on our sewer this time. Sewer has a much larger um, capacity in it. And one of the things we need to keep in mind when we're laying out uh, some of these other pipes is the current elevation. So this one is currently set at a one foot two elevation. You notice that here in the options bar, and it is only a two inch diameter pipe. So let's go ahead and just click here and see what happens. So it's saying no automatic function can be, um, no auto road auto rotate solution was found. So that means I need to change the elevation of that pipe when it's coming in. So if I click on this one right here, this is the sewage pipe that's already in place and that one's set to um, an elevation of a negative one foot. So when I come back to this sewage pipe, click on it, make it active. I want to change this middle elevation to align with this pipe. So I'm going to change that to a negative one foot as well. And I'm going to bring it out and click here and I'm going to connect it here. And that's supposed to come together as well. and that will add that automatic connection for us there. So let's go to 3D and take a look at that. So this is the urinal that we just added. We connected it to the cold water pipe. We added a sewer pipe that's coming down and it's connecting to the other side of that sewage pipe coming out of the right here. This is the one that we just connected. Sewage pipe down and around. We could probably tighten this up so we don't have so much um, pipe, so much wasted pipe. Um, but this is one of the things that as you're starting to learn how to use it, uh, you can kind of like tighten up how things go. One of the other reasons I kind of ran this for a little further out is because we have a lot of connections coming in here. Um, maybe once I get everything laid out, I could find a better way to connect all these pipes so they come, they flow a little bit better. Um, you know, I could have probably ran this one this way and onto this pipe. Um, this is, these are instructions that will definitely come from um, your plumbing engineer. Uh, we just want to make sure that we know how to actually get them connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this urinal to this sewage pipe as well. And then we'll go ahead and do a smaller version of this in another area of the building, just so we can kind of go through that, uh, all that um, again for you. So let's go ahead and connect this sewage pipe here. So I'm going to go jump back to my level one plumbing. I'm going to go ahead and grab this urinal, grab the plumbing at this point. Remember, we want to check the elevation here. This elevation is set to one foot two. Um, we want to set that to negative one foot so it goes down. And let's connect that right there. And let's go to 3D. I've got some stray bit of pipe from somewhere. And the one I just connected was right here. 
I had this connection from before. I just deleted that so you could see how it was done. Um, but I just connected it to that connection right there. So that's where this one runs right here. Let's get another top down look. So if we look at this bathroom, we have our three or four um, toilets. Um, this pipe looks like it's, it, I was playing with this pipe with a, a second floor before, so that works. <laughs> it looks like it's connected to nothing. So the ones that we want to take a look at are just these up here. Uh, so this, these four toilets are connected to this water uh, line. These four sinks are connected to this cold water line. The urinals are connected to that cold water line and that will run out to um, the, the city water line. What I'm going to do here, um, the MEP water here was not working, so I'm just using a regular architectural water here. Um, so I'm, it's not going to connect our hot water and cold water, but we can still run our pipes to it. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go back to systems. I'm going to go to my pipe. I'm going to change the type of piping to domestic cold water. I'm going to run it off of this pipe to my water heater where that water would be going in there. So a couple of things look weird here. The size of this pipe from one and then the fact that it's uh, kind of not connected on this end. So actually for this pipe we probably want a thicker one than a three-quarter inch coming in from the sewer line from the water line we can make that bigger. Make that a two inch. Now let me go to 3D. So I've got this weird pipe just kind of laying out here. Obviously it's not in the correct elevation to attach to this, so I need to correct that. So I've got my water line pipe coming in at an elevation of two foot three. I'm going to change that to zero. So that's going to remove that connection there. I'll have to fix that. And then this one is laying down here. I'm going to change this to half inch pipe. And I'm going to change that elevation to zero. So now I'm going to go back to my plumbing one. So not only are we changing the elevations, but we're changing um, the size of the pipe and where how they connect this side right here we connect to my water heater so here we've changed the elevation of this pipe this is not a great connection here we probably want to change that as well too so I'm going to delete that oops Connect that back. I want this to be smaller now. I'm going to change that to one inch. I'll connect that into there. So we're starting to see a little bit better connection as far as from the main line from our street, from our water meter to the street, to our internal fixtures. Once again, these sizes will be determined by your um, plumbing engineer. Um, we were looking at just how we can adjust those and just make our best uh, guesses right now when we're kind of laying out pipes, because that's so lots of um, so lots of layouts. So I just want you to use your best judgment when you're laying these out. Obviously, we're going from much like our HVAC system, we're going from a larger set 
uh, larger inlets too smaller to constrict the pressure as that water moves throughout those pipes. So let's do a smaller bathroom so we can do this all over again. Um, I'm just going to move to like this room over here uh, just to do a smaller version of this so you can see how that goes from uh, beginning to end. So I'm just going to add a couple of um, fixtures in this unit in this place right here. Remember when we have this set we always want to go down to our detail level and make sure our detail level is set to fine. And we're going to go to our systems tool, systems tab, and then to our plumbing fixtures tool. And here we'll drop in let's see public toilet. When I have my toilet situated here, if I want it to run across this wall, remember I want to hit my space bar and that'll rotate the different locations I can use for the toilets. So I'm going to just drop in a couple. I also want to add a couple of sinks. So once again, I'm going to go to my plumbing fixtures tool, come back to my properties. I know I already have those loaded in here. Just got to find the one I want. So lavatory vanity. I use this 30 by 18 inch public. We'll add three. Once again, no rhyme or reason to the spacing. Um, for now, I'm just having those spaced out. That would be part of the design work that you would do. And let's add just a couple of urinals over here. So back to plumbing fixture properties. And it's a urinal with wing is the one that works. So we'll use a couple of those and put those over here. Obviously not great design work because we have a very large space. We could move some of these part uh, just kind of getting these laid out. Um, what I'd like for you to do is use a little bit more um, thought process into how you're having your bathroom laid out when you create yours. Um, but once we have these kind of laid out, we'll just kind of leave these as is for now. So what we have to think in this room is how does my cold water connect to my water line over here. Now what I'm going to do, since this is the first floor, we can run another line from this water line over here. I would actually want that to be a thicker water line as far as it's got to go. But let's go ahead and just kind of lay them out and then we can run them and connect them over here. So I'm going to start with this sink just because I'm going to run my pipes this way. I'm going to run these cold water pipes this way and then I'm going to run these cold water pipes from the urinals through this wall as well. So it'd be like this way, this way, and this way and then run that pipe through this wall and connect it over here. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to click on this one for my cold water. I'll click on that. Pull that back into the wall. Run that cold water pipe here. I need to fiddle with this connection a little bit. It's probably off height wise. This is set to one foot six. This is set to two foot three. So let's set them both to the one foot six. Let's set this one here. Oh, one foot six and a half. Pull those back together. And with a little nudging, we'll get those to connect. Uh, main reason didn't connect because they were at different elevations before. So we have all of those connected now. Now I can come back to this sink. 
click on my cold water. One foot six and a half. One foot six and a half. Those are connected. Come to this sink, cold water. All right, so let me change this to one foot six and a half before. That should connect. Looks weird. Okay, let me undo that. Foot six and a half. All right, and we have our connection there. So we've got those three connected. Let's jump to 3D real quick and take a look at it. Let's spin the building to this side. We have our three sinks connected with our cold water. Let's go ahead and continue the cold water line with the urinals and the toilets. I'll go ahead and jump back to floor plan level one plumbing. I'm going to start with this uh, urinal here and run the pipe around this way. So click on that one, make it active. Click on our water. Let's set these two one foot six and a half because I believe everything else is as well. And there's our connection there. So we have our water pipe coming around this way. Let's do the same thing with the rest of them and just get those connected. Water pipe. One foot six and a half. I think they make this just a tad bit easier. Actually, it is much easier than what it used to be. All right, there we got it. So I'm not gonna run through all these. I think you all know how to connect those, those pipes as well. So we'll just do one of the toilets. Uh, these are all cold water lines, so we don't have to run them, worry about the hot water line. Just kind of showing you how to do the same thing over and over. I'll come back to that, but you get the point. Connect all the, the lines here. So let's go back and let's add that hot water line. So hot water is going to run the same direction as the cold water line did, and I'm going to connect that right here. So I'm going to have to refigure this connection when we come back to make this a T-joint like this when we run this hot water line here this way. Um, but we'll get to that. So let's go ahead and just start with the hot water line off of this thing here. So this one sets one foot six and a half inches. It's gonna be rather tight, so we can actually change this elevation a little bit. Maybe we wanna change that to one foot nine inch. And just give us a little bit more height for that. So they're not right on top of each other. I 
I'll have to double check my heights on these when I come back around. Okay, so this one I have set to one foot nine. This one I have set to one foot 11. Change this to one foot 11. I'm gonna delete that connection. Pull these two together. Very nice. And then I'll put this one back to this hot water line. Oh, it's so nice when they work correctly. So here we have a three quarter inch hot water line coming off the water heater, distributing water, and then it's channeling that down to a half inch uh, water line that's taking that water to our three sinks. Uh, next thing to do would be just go ahead and connect the these other two sinks to it and we have our water lines finished. Next thing we need to think about is the sewer line. So our sewer line is all the way over here. This is sewer out to the street. So since this is the first floor of the building, we can run this sewer line under he under this flooring and just have it run directly to here. We don't have to have that run through the walls or anything like we did with these other ones. We want this to kind of run directly to the sewer line and connect at this point right here. So let's go ahead and just start with the toilet. Well, let's check this some sewer line first. So this one is set to, it's a four inch diameter, which is typical out sewer line. And it's set to a negative one foot elevation. So let's come over here to this toilet, grab that. Here we have our sewage system uh, symbol right here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Uh, that is set to a diameter of four inches. And we're gonna go ahead and offset this down one foot. And we'll just come out like this so we can connect those other two to it. And I'm just gonna bring this over and I can connect that here. Should connect on the diagonal. If not, you may need to come in on a, let me do that for me, no. All right, let's come in on a straight view. Uh, if we do it as a straight view, you can see how it would call it actually use more pipe than is necessary. Uh, it should connect on the diagonal as well. So we'll kind of, ah, voila, there it is. So it did connect there at that one foot elevation. We have these other ones here. Now we can just run the other sewer lines from here. Let's click on this urinal, click on the sewer line from there. Notice this one is set at one foot two, I mean, at one foot two elevation and a two inch diameter. Um, it's a smaller diameter needed for the um, urinals. So we'll go ahead and change this to negative one as well. So the same plane. And we'll go here and connect here. And the same with this urinal over here. Grab that sewer line connector, change that to negative one foot. I'm going to bring that here and run it into here. So we have these guys connected. And then you can do the same with the sinks. We'll click on this sink, we'll just start here. 
We'll click on our sewer line here. Notice this one is only set to one and a quarter inch, set to elevation of one foot, four and a quarter inches. We'll go ahead and use the same one foot for this one. We'll run it out this way. There we go, that one's connected. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take the sewer lines from these guys and connect them to this one here. Oops, forgot to change the height of that. Let's change that to negative one foot. And then finally, this one here, set to negative one foot. Yeah, for some reason, that's what to connect. Anyway, we just have to fudge that so it gets connected. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we need to do the same with this one, but eventually we'll go ahead and set that connection just like that. So here we have our completed bathroom on this end. We just have to connect the uh, information for these, but you get the gist that it's all pretty much connected the same. Um, so once again, you're just kind of thinking about the flow of the water pipes, the height and the elevation of it. Let's go to 3D, see what that looks like on this end. So remember these pipes here, they're high, but they're running through the walls. Uh, actually, I got a big boo-boo right here. Um, not a great elevation for these pipes because obviously they're running through the windows. So in order to correct that, I can come here. I would have to select the elevation of these. These are set to one foot six. Uh, these are very big windows, so I can lower that down to six inches, but when I do that, it's gonna make everything freak out and everything's gonna have to be corrected uh, to six inches. So we would have to correct them, all those pipes to six inches. So do be aware of that or the height of your windows uh, as you're correcting that. Because of those big windows, it's not going to allow me to let those pipes run that high. Um, I would just have to, I should have checked that first. That way I can go back and connect, correct the height of these, because we'll have to go back and correct each one. We can detach them and correct them and just change the elevation of those so they actually run below the window. That's probably the most frustrating part is making sure that everything doesn't intersect and things like that. And just once again, the more you practice with it, the, the easier it becomes. Uh, when you actually have a plumbing plan that will be laid out by a plumbing engineer, they will have all those heights and things attached for you and the exact plumbing um, pipe sizes. Just for this exercise, we're not going to, I'm not going to dictate which size pipes you can run. I just want you to use your, your common sense on that. For this, um, if you remember when I selected the height of this um, hot water pipe, I selected uh, uh, to go up so it's not running on the same level. Obviously, I very much should have selected a height to go down. So it's another thing to think about as you're laying out your pipes. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what we want to do for this class. Finish laying out your first floor and get all your water and your sewer lines connected. Lay out the placement of your fixtures on your second floor and then we will connect those pipes um, during the uh, second half of the class. If you wanna go ahead and have a shot at it and kind of practice with it and see if you can get those laid out before next class, feel free. Um, we're running out of time right now at about a minute. Uh, any questions? Wouldn't the uh, sewer 
pipe have to have a slope to it? It, does, it should have a slope to it, yeah. Um, we didn't indicate that for this class, but yes. Um, it, when you have a sewer pipe, it should definitely have a slope to it. So we come back on this side. Uh, and the reason he said that is, remember that these sewer pipes are um, using gravity to evacuate the, the 